we love talking about movies and we want to make movies. So, uh, Jake and our friend Max, who also wants to make movies. We had made Grandpa George is Dead. We made another short called Pay Me. But we really wanted to include him because he has such a mind for how these things work, how people uh, perceive it, what people like about things, which is never what I'm <laughs> thinking about. We had, we had some time on our hands, as all artistically inclined people do sometimes. So. We knew we wanted to do something small with just Jess and I, and Jake thinks really, really dark. Um, and then I had this idea that, why don't we do a date? I want it's like a date. And uh, the guy, let's say he sets up like a Kijiji ad that he wants someone to impersonate his wife and his plan is to kill her. To reenact the night that he actually killed his wife and then she would fight back. And he just got so, it was so... We talked about it and it seemed like really, really dark and... Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> no, it was just too dark. But we love that idea of having these two people with some sort of secret, or they're hiding something, or they're pretending. And then that's where then the theme came up. What do we do something about how people are fake? How people are always pretend to be something that they're not. And I don't remember Max was in the bathroom, and we hear the toilet flush, and he comes out. And he's like, "I've just thought of the perfect title." And we're like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "People you may know." So when you go to high school, you can reinvent yourself. When you go to university, you can do it again. And these two who are now out of university, Facebook is hit and they decide there's another way they can do it. They can reinvent themselves with Facebook. Or then uh, the guy in the story, he reinvents himself with his, his apartment as well. well. I hope people notice the glasses. That's one of my favorite little things that we just toss in there. I might be the one who pulled it all together, but it was a mix of, you know, real life experiences from all of us. And then Jess is just a dream to work with. She's so, there's so much energy and enthusiasm in everything. Yeah, I think, I think it was a total blessing working, working with her, uh, getting, getting her feedback on my performance while we're doing it and someone to play with. In the same sense with Luke, that there's always an energy and a, a motive behind everything. And that was so encouraging because uh, sometimes I think maybe in a director or in a writing sort of sense you get this feeling like this is yours and you're trying to make this and you're trying to mold exactly how you want and there needs to be a certain amount of vision of course but it needs to be more than one person's vision otherwise it just feels stale or it feels like it doesn't have any perspective it's sort of subconsciously on everyone's minds that everyone knows how fake it all is but we just accept that it's that it's truth so they say you write what you know, and uh, I think, uh, particularly my generation, what we know most is how to lie. It is true that with social media, and I think every day, like that's why the opening shot is a comb. Like that's, I thought I'm like, that's the first way we started pretending to be something we weren't, when we tried to straighten our hair out. I, maybe the only thing I would hope people get out of it is they watch it, and then the next time they go and post something on social media, that they wonder if it's them or this persona that's posting it. I don't want to spoil anything about what the short has to offer, but I think, I think the how we wrap it up and it ended is so unlike anything I've seen. Even when Jake showed me the first cut, I was like, "What did I just watch?" It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I think it's gonna be good. I think people will really like it. You're not exactly uh, as advertised. I can see it in your eyes that you despise the same old lies you heard the night before.